healthy cooking. Today I am making rava ka laddu. It's very from samoli. You can say it's from suji or samolina. And it's very easy and the raksha bandhan is coming near. So you can give to your brothers uh, your homemade laddu. And you can use it for raksha bandhan, diwali, birthdays, anything. That's a homemade sweets. Okay, so let's go to the ingredients first and I will be showing two kinds. Today I will do it on the stove and in my other video you will see the same laddu made in microwave. Let's go through the ingredients. I have taken one cup of suji, samolina, three fourth cup of sugar, some cashew, raisins, that this too you can take as much you like. Cardamom powder. I have taken almost one teaspoon of it. Two tablespoon of ghee or you can take butter also. One fourth cup of milk. I have taken, you can take your plain milk if you want. I am taking almond milk. But you can always use your plain milk too. And so my recipes are for the vegans also. Okay. And some one fourth cup of shredded coconut. Or you can get take dry coconut. That's both thing works in it. Okay. So now can we start it? Now what first what we have to do is I'm taking my ghee. Actually sometimes I take butter too. But today I don't have unsalted butter. I have salted butter, so I am taking ghee. Generally, I prefer butter. Okay, so this is it. And when it becomes little hot, that time add your cashew and just make it little roasted little bit. Okay, so my this ghee has become hot now. And we roast it. Make it little pinkish. cashew has become pinkish you see this now I will take it out in the same ball of my ghee okay so remove it okay and in the same ghee roast rava okay so this is rava so ghee now roast it on the slow flame and make it little, you have. You can always, I always try this way that it has become crispy or not. So you have to make it little, roast it little bit. When you do this procedure, make sure that frequently every 2-3 seconds you are mixing it properly like this. So, it doesn't bunt up at one place. Okay. Now, you see that our rava has changed its color. It has become little light pinkish. Now, and if you need, you can add one or one, one teaspoon or one and a half teaspoon of oil or butter. Uh, sorry, uh, ghee or a butter you can add. But since... I like less of that things, so I always take less butter or ghee. But you can always add one or two teaspoon of more if you want. For me, it is fine. Okay, now this is the time we are adding our coconut now. Okay, after adding the coconut, again roast it for about another minute. But make sure it should be on a low flame. Okay. Now along with that I am adding my cashew too. And my raisins. Okay. Now I am adding my sugar. Okay. Mix it well. cardamom powder okay. gives good flavor okay. 
so after about a minute mixing all the ingredients go on adding milk little bit not all at a time and make sure again it should be a very slow flame okay so i have added 1/4 cup of milk and that is my almond milk and you can take a regular milk too so vegan people you can also make it okay okay so now i see it is a right consistency put off your stuff okay put off your flame now now allow it to cool but if we don't want to make it to very cool let it be that way little lukewarm type so you can make give a laddu shape okay so i am allowing for about 8 to 10 minutes to settle it down to cooling okay okay so to allow it to cool down quickly i'll remove it in another plate okay it has become now little lukewarm i don't want very cool otherwise you cannot bind the laddu so it should be little warm okay now this is a right and it took only i think about 3 minutes okay so now i will start making and before you start making grease your hand with the ghee or a butter like this okay and take as much small or a big you want the ball see now it has been i can knead it nicely so this is absolutely perfect consistency and if you feel it has it's little dry go on adding when when you are binding it go on adding some 1 teaspoon of milk okay so you can bind properly but for me this is right and you have to bind it very press it thoroughly so it doesn't break your laddu doesn't break okay Okay, like this way. Go on making all the laddus, and as I said, the size which you like it. Okay, and I am adding about one teaspoon of just one teaspoon. You see, one teaspoon of milk here, because I it has become little dry. So I'll just go on binding it now. Okay, perfect. So my almost all the laddus are done, and whenever you make laddu. always keep one knife with you or any point you can take something like a butter knife also and you can always scrap this in your plate from your hand and go on making it and as i said if you when the time goes it becomes dry so that time you can go on adding half a teaspoon of milk to bind it okay so i'm almost done so you see how healthy it is hardly any ghee or butter so in this size from 1 cup of suji i have made 15 laddus but according to your size if you it is a bigger you can make according to your size smaller or bigger and as i said sweetness you can add as much you want for one cup for me 3/4 cup of sugar was good enough okay and the procedure as i told i'm telling you it becomes dry so go on adding 
half a teaspoon of milk when you are binding if you feel it's getting dry otherwise no arrange like this in diwali or a raksha bandhan or a birthdays and that feeling to someone that this is homemade okay so please do try thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe